today we're having lunch at Long Clum, Simon Rogan's three Michelin starred restaurant in Cartmel in the Lake District in the UK. But before our lunch, we're here at their farm, our farm. I'm in a greenhouse right now. We're taking a tour with John, the farm manager, and he's showing us all the different ingredients, all the micro herbs, all the edible flowers, everything that is going to be on our plate at the restaurant. Lon Klum is Simon Rogan's flagship restaurant and opened in Cartmel in 2002. The restaurant received its first star in 2005, its second in 2013, and its third this year. It's also their 20th anniversary, so the team had a lot of celebrating to do. The third star is completely well-deserved. It was our first time exploring this beautiful area with lush rolling green hills, shimmering lakes, and winding roads. Before our lunch, we started at Long Plume's Farm, which all restaurant guests are invited to visit. Rogan was one of the first chefs to champion the farm to table movement in the UK. From the beginning, he's been focused on serving the local produce, and he's had his own organic farm since the early 2000s. The farm is 12 acres and largely dictates what will be served on the menu, which changes weekly, even daily, depending on which ingredients from the farm are ready to eat. It's like biting into a fresh, juicy cucumber. Just this little leaf. After visiting the farm, we drove to Cartmall, a small medieval town with cobbled streets and cozy cottages. In addition to Long Clum, there's the one Michelin starred Rogan & Co, as well as Aulis, Rogan's chef's table and test kitchen restaurant. Long Plume is housed in a former blacksmith workshop. The old smithy is a charming stone building with low ceilings and wooden beams. The name Long Plume is French and means the anvil, which is a theme throughout the restaurant, including in the plates and cutlery. The meal kicked off with a delicious beetroot tart filled with lobster, pickled rosehip, and radish. We could already tell it was going to be a good meal. Next up was an umami bomb, a pig and smoked eel fritter with crispy tapioca, lovage emulsion, and fermented sweet corn. We loved the textures and flavors of this dish. One of our favorite bites on the menu was the Burkswell pudding, caramelized in birch sap with stout vinegar and topped with aged cheese. Sweet and savory heaven. Oh my God. This one's been aged in uh, oak barrel to give you a bit more body, a bit more richness into it. Served with a cup, a fresh milk uh, from uh, down the road, pine crop, uh, alisium, a bit of uh, calamint oil, and uh, calamint salmon. Scalps from Orkney, up in the very north east of Scotland. They've been uh, roasted in our extra sauce and then deglazed with our scalp garum. Underneath you've got some Oscar peas, tapioca that's been pickled in our verdure, and then a pea pod oil. So here we have our soft and melting seaweed custard with poached parlock oysters, a warm beef broth which we infused with sugar kelp seaweed, a roasted bone marrow oil, and placed just on the top in the centre there, our specially preserved caviar, which we preserve with molten sea water. And to uh, soak up the sauce, we've got a brioche loaf glazed in fermented honey from the bees on our farm with a uh, burnt onion ash and yeast butter.
dish we bring back every year uh, around this time of the summer to celebrate our harvest. Uh, so these are 25 different ingredients. We don't really use them else in the menu, uh, showcasing what's best not only to be enjoyed at this particular time of the year, um, but today. Prepared in multiple different ways, so showcasing some you know, cargo in here, some salt making, fermenting and pickling, uh, presenting our ace and offerings with a comfy quail egg and a burnt chive emulsion. This has been very, very slowly steamed to serve alongside some New Zealand spinach and cuttlefish, which have been glazed with pork fat, finished with some bean flowers, and I just over sauce, which is made from pork and fish This is going to be part of your main course. We have the herd with lamb loin, which is coming from West Head Farm over in Hillmere. So we dry age it for three weeks, and then it's been roasted and rested on the bone during the service. With the main course, we enjoyed a wine from one of our favorite Austrian producers, Heinrich. This Blau Frankish with dark berry notes went perfectly with the lamb, which came in three separate servings. First, sweetbreads with garlic, black garlic, and ramps and honey. The next serving was the lamb loin, which was served with fermented cabbage, fennel, and ramps and capers. The final serving was lamb belly with truffle, kale leaves, and lamb broth. Now, as you can see, the best bit about this dish is those lamb fat bits. And the truffle is coming from Wales, from Usk, which Simon thinks is one of the best places in the UK for sourcing truffles themselves. This was without a doubt the best lamb serving we've ever had and a perfect end to the savory section of the meal. Malwina strawberries. So we macerate these in sweet sesame syrup. We have a muscovage cake and frozen sheep's yogurt. On the top we have a cream which we've infused with sweet spring aromats. And finally Jordan and I have just poured over a sauce made from the Malwina strawberries. Long cream, the amble. And a limited edition version as we're celebrating our 20th anniversary this year. It's a set salt caramel mousse. Uh, you've got some diced caramelised pink lady apples at the base there. Uh, and then we finish simply with a pine infused apple juice. After dessert, we enjoyed a selection of British and Irish cheeses from the trolley, which are supplied by the Cartmall Cheese Shop. Long Clume has also made their own cheese with them, which is available to taste. Long Clume is a feel-good restaurant and a taste-good restaurant too. It's a place that makes you happy because the joy of the staff is so infectious and because the food is unbelievably delicious. This is a must-visit restaurant in the UK. Long Clume was a meal highlight of our life. If you like our work, support us on Patreon, where we also have a food community called The Hungries. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more food and travel videos. And be sure to follow us on Instagram at Andrews Husa and Carnivore. Thanks for watching!